Guys, this is a Mario Kart Wii science stream. We're gonna be testing science. Mario Kart Wii science, 11 years after the game comes out, there's still more stuff to discover, more stuff to figure out. Wait for it, this is gonna be the most hilarious moment. Wait for it, wait for it. Do you guys see it? Do you guys see it? Look at the mini turbo stat. Look at the mini turbo stat, how cool is that? It's literally off the screen. We have a mini turbo boost that is equivalent to a mushroom without the off-road bonus. That would be way too broken. But the reason why we chose the Phantom is because the Phantom is like the worst bike, but it also has the worst drift stat. So it's really, really, really easy to snake with the Phantom because the drift stat is so low. So you could do the maximum drift angle and you could snake back and forth. And the mini turbo on this is equivalent to a mushroom. So we're gonna be snaking like it's Mario Kart DS and it's gonna be hilarious. Okay, N64 Bowser Castle, first track. I'm so excited for this, guys. So we're gonna have to play this vehicle different than any other vehicle that is in the vanilla Mario Kart game. This is gonna be like playing sort of similar to like Mario Kart DS. We're gonna be getting lots of mini turbos. And trust me when I say this, this thing still is not the best, but it makes it significantly better. <laughs> Look at this. So I'll show you guys, you can't actually go off or, oh dang it. So you can't actually go off-road with this in game speed, but this thing has really good off-road stat, so you don't lose that much. <laughs> We're making the worst bike in the game actually decent. What about doing this shortcut with this thing? That was a bad idea. Okay, so watch, we can snake it. Look at this. <laughs> okay, easy first race. I kind of expected that. This thing is good for front running. It doesn't have the mo the mobility of an outside, sorry, an inside drifting bike, but we're gonna do some more tests, get some more races in. It's really challenging me in like a weird way. Oh, I got him. Sorry, Atlas, we're not teaming just yet. We gotta see if we can top two without teaming and then we'll team if we still can't top two. Eye for an eye makes the whole world cyclopses. Uh-oh. I'm in 10th? Dang, dude, Atlas has a breakaway. He's in first. He's the Waluigi, guys. He's very easy to point out because of his character. Oh, I think that's a blue shot. I wonder if he'll dodge it. Yes! No. Wait. Yes, okay, there we go. Okay, so the reason I use it there, two reasons. There's two sets of item boxes really, really early. We're getting third. Not bad, not bad. There's two sets of item boxes really early in this lap, so there's a good chance someone will either get the shock or chain the shock there. Also, the bullet build does not do the shortcut, and other racers are gonna do the shortcut, so other racers are ahead of you for a longer period of time, which makes the bullet build last longer. On tracks like spear tracks, this thing's gonna dominate. On flame runner tracks, it's gonna struggle still. You see this turn right here? It's rough. Dang it, dude, I wanna try dodge a blue shell, but that was the worst possible time. There's no way I could've squeezed the meter out right there in midair. <laughs> I kinda wanna try. <laughs> we had to try it. We had to try the shortcut with the mushroom boost. It might be possible, I'm serious. Oh, we're in a, we're in a tough spot right here. I'm gonna do the shortcut. Or not. God, this thing's drift is awful, man. I was trying to like, go to the side, charge a mini turbo, and release it as I got large, but the game made me large way faster than I wanted it to. Let's see if Dry Bowser also has the broken stat. 
He does! Look at that. Mini Turbo is off the charts. Okay, we're gonna use Dry Bowser. I think he matches the Phantom better. And he also has the craziest Mini Turbo stat ever. He has like plus six or plus eight on Mini Turbo. Jesus. Look at this. Oh! Penguin Dodging Pro! That was sick. <laughs> that was really close. Good luck sniping this when I'm swerving, dude. Ooh. Look at this. Oh! Dang it. This thing kind of has to commit. Like, that's another thing. The Flame Runner can easily hop in and out of stuff. While the, um, what's this called? While the Phantom is just like, you just commit. It's the same thing with cards. Any sort of outside drift is just so much less mobile. Oh no. Get away, get away. Let's boost. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> third. I get third a lot so far. I just keep getting third. Here we go. Okay, I mean, I seriously went for it, but instead I got, I literally, how fast was I going there? <laughs> these lines, these lines hurt my eyeballs. Oh yes. Where's James? Get wrecked, James! Yes! We had the max off-road vehicle, and that one was really good on certain tracks, and obviously it did not affect it whatsoever on other tracks. Like, when we play Rainbow Road, it didn't do anything. While this one, the main turbo stat is going to come in handy on every single track, so that's the big difference. <sighs> okay, so as long as we beat James, we're going to go into the last race sitting pretty. Because Atlas was on King Boo, I think he pulled home a first place. Chespin, what are you doing? Chespin's giving us a free top two. Oh my gosh. And yes, Atlas is using the same mod I'm using. He's using King Boo. He was using Waluigi last GP. Dude, dude, can you do? I kind of wonder, um, this shortcut will be pretty easy now because you have a mushroom boost. Or not, I guess you still have to wheelie. Wow, that didn't do much at all. You know why? It's because there's still off-road there and the off-road slows you down. BAM! Shock dodge! Oh, he goes all the way and he's floundering. Oh, there we go. All right, let's test the mock bike wheeling versus us snaking. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh. I'm just gonna hold these mushrooms, dude. Because in seventh, I can get a thundercloud, I can get a blooper, I can get a blue shot, I can get a pal, I can get one red, triple reds. I don't want any of that. I want the triple shrooms. Yeah, sure, best case scenario, I pull a golden, but the chances are slim. And we're not risking it. We're playing it safe! This thing has no speed. I forget. It has mini turbo, but it doesn't have speed. Oh, we're dead. Oh, Chespin redeemed himself. He, he threw five points last race, but he came in clutch and got first. We have not proven the power, the power of the, what do we call this vehicle? I don't even know. The, the Phantom Menace, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the Phantom Menace, we'll call it the Phantom Menace. That's a funny name. Bowser's Castle. We got Waluigi. We got that extra drift. Let's see if it comes in handy. I already feel like we're popping off, dude. We're popping off. Oh my gosh, we're popping off. This is this is a hardcore pop-off. You guys haven't seen a pop-off quite like this one. 
Oh my gosh, it's broken. It's broken. Waluigi was the strat, guys. We literally are undefeatable now. We're like Ash, Ash Ketchum, guys. Undefeatable. Never lost. Look at that strat. Oh my gosh, we're popping off. But I've heard that the third protagonist, I've never seen it, but I've heard the third Yu-Gi-Oh protagonist, Yusei, like, never loses almost ever. I heard, like, he's like, Yugi and Jaden lose a handful of times. Here's the strat, guys. You lay that there, you lay you lay the banana on the block, and then you skip the little, you skip the ramp. That's, like, what the pros do. The pros! Okay, so we are able, we're, 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 we're still maintaining first place. We're utilizing our perfect main turbo stat. We're mushrooming infinitely pretty much but it's at the cost of lines it's not like we get to go straight in mushroom that's the benefit of mushrooming is you just wheelie and you go straight i have to like swerve a bunch to get the mushroom boost still very worth it don't get me wrong but i have to work for it so it's more entertaining too oh oh Oh, I spammed a mushroom. Oh, I'm getting destroyed right now. Can you do the VC we glitch on 100cc with the phantom? That would be so epic. I think it's kind of worth trying out. Because, like, why not, honestly? You gotta play it for the dreams, man. You gotta play for the dreams. How am I gonna even make this thing? I'm not. <laughs> a measly one point. I got destroyed at the beginning. I got like flattened and then like comboed and then I was just dead. Can you make this on 100 with this thing? <laughs> you might be able to. I think you can. It's going to require... Oh. Oh, I didn't get the chain. But we got the BM shock dodge. That's three today. We've been shock dodging our way to the top. Ooh, a mushroom. All right, all right. I feel like I've barely gotten a main turbo this race. Let's get back on that main turbo grind, man. No. Oh, dang it, Psychic. We're gonna keep trying. I need to win a GP still. We got, I think we got second that GP. We got second. Yes, the perfect item. Now we have to chain and we can actually come home with a decent spot here. Of course, there's no boxes, of course. Of course, man, no boxes anywhere. We're still in third. Just gonna go wide, gonna play it safe. Oh! I could probably double main turbo this. Triple main turbo. We're catching, we're catching gap. That was a good throw, that was almost it. Guys, I'm gonna go for a shortcut, we're gonna see if it's faster. This is for Mario Kart with Science, right here. Oh! Hey, we got a little bit of air there. You know what that kind of reminded me of? That kind of reminded me of the Dry Dry Desert Mario Kart 8 shortcut. We're on 200cc where you mini turbo and then you hop, 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 and then you like get a little bit of air and you skip a lot of the off-road. Whoa! Did you see my me? My me is on top of the bike. I've never seen my me do that before. Wow. Guys, don't try that at home, man. I know you see it in Mario Kart, but don't stand on the- Look at him! I dare you to try to snipe me. I dare you. Okay, well that was unexpected. I can't believe I didn't get hit by that bullet. I thought for sure I got hit by it. Dude. We're catching him. We're catching him. Look it. I love how the flame runner just has to like... It's The, the lines are so much easier. This thing has to go through. This, this thing has to do some serious like acrobatics in order to just keep up with the flame runner.
<laughs> it's a race like this where you just feel like the whole world is out to get you, you know? Dang, me and Atlas got toasted. We got Cinnamon Toast crunched! That was rough. Come on. Ugh, this thing sucks. It's so bad. All right. Well, did we, we got third this GP. We're consistently getting like top three, but we cannot for the life of us get first. Broken. We go for shortcut? Of course we go for shortcut. Boom! Let's go. Oh, Atlas. Okay, we're making it interesting. We're making it interesting. Oh! Dude, guys, can we just play 150, man? Why is 100 CC? Why did Nintendo do that? Why did Nintendo make 100 CC one of the fun room options? Oh, yes. Dude, this thing's drift is so hard to get used to. No! There's a blue shell. I'm gonna see if it gets to him in time. He just got shocked. It should reach him. It got him. Okay, we're making the comeback. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, it's close! Rocks! Uh, I can't- I can't catch a break with this thing, man. Okay, we're in fourth. I'm gonna go for this box, pull Omega, win the race. No. Still worth it. We got a mushroom. We're dead. Dude, this is the GP of just tragedies, man. You guys really Mario Karted me this GP hard, man. This is stupid. There we go. There we go. Sorry, dude. Sorry, J Car. It had to be done, man. It had to be done. There's a blue shell. A blueberry. I think that's what Nicholas likes to call them, right? The blueberries. There we go. There we go. Yes! Yes! Give me the dodge! Oh no, that thing's way out there. Oh, we missed it by like two seconds. Yeah. Alright guys, we didn't get last. The show goes on. Alright, last attempt. We're going back to our roots. We're doing Funky Kong and we have... The broken mini turbo stat. It is off the screen. It is bodacious. <sighs> Let's see if we can actually get first place. This is it, man. We got that extra speed bonus from our boy Funky Kong. It's gonna come in clutch. This is my last attempt to try to win a GP with the Phantom Menace vehicle. Ooh, a mushroom. We still don't know if you can dodge a blue shell with this thing. We still don't know. But we have 150cc now, so I, hopefully I can get in first and we can figure out if you can dodge it trimless. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, I don't know what I did wrong. I really don't. I guess I have to go a little higher up. It's it's gotta be possible with this thing. It, it for sure is. All right, well we're playing it from the back. So close, man. I did it exactly how I do it with the Flame Runner. I got the jump at the right time. I used the mushroom at the right time, but it's just a little different. Fourth place. Ooh, blue shell. Oh, instead we just help someone else. That sucks. <laughs> I 
Another blue shell. Oh, this is this is super good for us. We can probably get second place. He got lucky. Wait. Yes. Second. Okay. Good start. We just have to get first overall. 12 points is good. Three more races. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, it is over. That is good, that is good. That's what we're going for. I wanna see what these lap times are, if we can clutch it. Cause guys, we have 150cc. Tell me if these are good laps. All the time trialers out there. Shrimless laps. Maybe if I maybe if I release it a little bit a little bit after that. I hope someone uses another blue shell. No, not after the shock. Come on, game. You can you know what I meant. Why you gotta do me dirty like that? We're still chilling though. Like we're still chilling. We got a little lead. And we're gonna gain a lot here. Because the cave is where we don't really gain much, but we gain it on the ice section. Because we have off-road, and we have that broken main turbo. Like, this vehicle on its own, without any stat bonuses, has really nice off-road. Like, that's see how much we just... We just created a huge gap. That's fun. Oh, that looks so sweet. It is like the one section in the game where I actually have enough space to show the Phantom Menace at its full potential with its crappy drift stat. It's great. We're playing it safe. I was gonna see if like a blue shell came, I was gonna try to dodge it. All right, two races down, two to go. This one's gonna really test me. The last one, I knew I could win. The last one, we have a huge advantage. This one, not so much. This is definitely not a track where this vehicle has any advantage whatsoever. I will get two main turbos here though, so I can stay ahead. I just hope I don't get red shelled. Okay, we're good. And we're not gonna be stupid and try to swerve through these crates. We're gonna do this instead. This part's rough. Yeah, we lose a lot of time there. Gonna lay some random fibs. Dude, if that red would've hit me, I would've been triggered, because I got three fake item boxes in a row. Nice. This thing's so slow, I don't even have to go around the crates. Like normally, if I'm barely missing the first offer, it means I'm gonna hit the second one, but this thing not so much. Oh, we got the low trick. There we go, that was a good lap. That was pretty good. That's all I can ask for with this thing. It looks good right now, but at any second a blue shell can occur. And we'll be potentially comboed, so... Never get too confident in this game, man. Uh-oh. Did anyone dodge? 
Doesn't look like it. It's looking good. It's looking good. So this is one where we can definitely pull off a top position. We're gonna be doing the Shrimless Shortcut for sure. Oh gosh. Everyone went for it. You guys know there's only two boxes, right? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. You really don't know how bad the drift is on this thing until you try it out yourself. It's like, it's insane, man. I forget. Like I always overestimate how good it is. Every race, I always, on some turn, I overestimate it. Jesus. We're going for a box. We're in eighth right now. Give me golden. Yes. Atlas, let's go, Atlas. Where should I use this? Probably right here. Oh my god. Oh. That hurts my insides. My soul. Alright, last race of the stream, guys. We just need to knock it like 11th or 12th and we're chilling. That's all we have to do. It's not looking good right now. Going for a box. Ah. Gotta go a little bit lower. There's not too many spots I can take advantage of this drift stat. Sorry, the main turbo stat. <laughs> I can never take advantage of the drift stat. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, like my blue shell finally hit him. Wow, that blue shell took forever. I thought he might have dodged in the cannon for a second. Oh my god, I'm gonna literally lose. I have to have a decent ending here. This is crazy. I cannot get this placement. <laughs> I can't. This is this is like tenth is. I have to get at least tenth to win the GP, assuming Vert gets first. Got absolutely destroyed this race. Well, I know I'm not getting target shocked. We're in ninth now. Ninth will win us the GP. Come on, come on. Yes, we're, we're okay. This is good. This is good. <sighs> okay, we did it. <laughs> oh, that was happening to us all stream. Just horrible races like that. We finally had. A good one. We won by six. Okay, we won. We finally did. We won a GP. Guys, it's a top tier vehicle. Confirmed. We won a GP. It only took us like 75 tries. Wow. This was a fun experiment. It made me play the game an entirely different way. It's a lot of fun on the tracks that have giant straightaways. Very wide. You could do some cool snaking. Desert Hills and Sherbet Land were my favorites. I will never use this mod again. It was a fun test. Kind of like the, the Quacker. The Max Off-Road Quacker. We'll do some more shenanigans. I think next we might do a minimum weight vehicle. I think that would be so much fun. So that is it. Thank you for watching.